Oh, good afternoon, Scorpions. Sorry about that. I was just reading today's issue of The Sting. I'm Jericho Velasco, and welcome to this episode of Scorpion News Live. Scorpions, the end of first semester is almost here, which means the last two days of this week will be on final schedule. So tomorrow, the day is going to start like any other late start schedule, but you'll only be in first, second, and third period. Then Thursday, you'll be in fourth, fifth, and sixth period. Students who have late start, please remember to come at 7.30 in the morning and not miss fourth period. And don't forget to check those grades and see how you're doing in each class before the semester ends. And good luck on those finals. Now, let's learn another phrase from Danielle for this week's ASL. Hello, and welcome back. I'm Danielle Sager, and I'm going to be teaching you two new words. To get ready for the holiday season, the words that you are going to learn are Merry Christmas and Snow. First, I'm going to start with Merry Christmas. You may recognize the sign Merry because it is the same sign as Happy. This is the sign Merry. Okay, again, Merry. And this is the sign Christmas. And again, Christmas. Okay, now put the two together. Merry Christmas. The next sign is snow. This is how you sign snow. And again, snow. And one more time, snow. And that's it for this episode. Good luck on those finals, and I hope you have a Merry Christmas, and I hope it snows over break. Merry Christmas and snow. That only means one thing, Scorpions. Winter break. Hot cocoa, ugly Christmas sweaters, and a relaxing by the fireplace. Perfect signs for this time of the year. Thanks for those, Danielle. By the way, great job to all of you who performed at the choir and instrumental concert. Great job, guys and gals. Also, another shout out to the HHS robotics team. Good job to all three of the 9898 teams. Keep up the good work. Now, let's see what Oscar and Brandy have for this episode's highlight. After. Let's see what Matt has for another helpful quick tip. Hi, I'm Brandy Williams here from Scorpion News doing your Scorpion highlights. I'm also here with Janice Shoemaker. So Janice, what is your position here at Hesperia High School? Food service supervisor. And as food service supervisor, what are you in charge of here? Uh, all the food ordering, all the food distribution. So, Janice, on an average day, um, what does your morning consist of? Getting everything ready per, for Hesperia High School? Uh, I arrive at 6.30. Um, all the ovens and food air prep areas need to be turned on and started. So you're all around. <laughs> Thank you, Janice. Hi, I'm Oscar Aguilar with Sarah Martinez's Front Food Services, aka your lunch lady. So, what do you do? What do you enjoy about your job? I enjoy getting to um, get to know all the students and um, helping out and just feeding everybody. What does lunch consist of? Um, well, we have to heat up all the food, get everything ready up to temperature, pan it up, and wrap it so we can serve it to the students. And how long does that take? Uh, usually. 20 to 35 minutes. Over the years, have you known to grown any of the students? Yes, I try to get um, as personal as I can so I can make them smile and watch them grow up pretty much. Well, thank you, Sarah, for your time. That's it for today's highlight. Sanford and I'm here to give you two quick tips about headphones. Now, don't you hate it when this happens? No! A way to prevent this is to wrap your headphones like this. According to Sean Vlogs at YouTube.com, it's quick, it's easy, and your headphones never get tangled. Now, for the next tip. Are your headphones always shorting out all the time? A way to prevent this from happening is to make sure you pull from the base instead of the cord because that can short it out faster, says Wiki How. And that's all for this week's Q-Tips. Tune in again. 
Great job on that highlight, guys, and those quick tips will sure be helpful. Hey, Scorpion, DBC is offering courses here on campus, so you can high school and college credit. The registration for the spring courses has already started. You have to be at least 16 years of age and talk to your counselor for a concurrent enrollment form. Get it done, Scorpion. Let's turn it over to the lovely ladies at Scorpion Sports, Jessica and Karina. Welcome back to Scorpion Sports. I'm Jessica Munguia. And I am Karina Sandoval. And, and we are here with your weekly sports news. Scorpions, winter sports have kicked in. Boys and girls basketball, soccer, and wrestling had a tournament this past week. Good job for representing our school. We want to give a big congratulations to the JV soccer boys for making it into the championship. Although they lost, we're proud of them for making it that far. Great job, guys. Now let's take a look into what basketball has been up to. Hi, I'm Oscar Aguilar with Aaron Ortega, captain of Varsity Girls basketball team. What are your expectations for this year's season? My expectations are to get more rebounds than I did last year and to make sure my team doesn't fall apart. We play as a team and we're not just like friends, we're family. And here we are again with Deshaun Taylor, captain of Boys Varsity basketball team. What are you looking forward to this season? I'm hoping to get wins and improving on my jump shot and yeah. What's going to be different from this season compared to last season? Um, last season, <coughs> we look kind of different, but this season we got a lot of talent, we're athletic, we can shoot the ball, and we have no speed to beat everybody on pressure. All right, well, thank you for your time, Deshaun Taylor. Well, that concludes another sports segment. Be sure to look out for the upcoming games for soccer, basketball, and wrestling. Go out there and cheer them on. Until next time. Thanks for the highlight, ladies, and you too, Oscar. Also, good luck to the girls and boys basketball team this year. Can't wait to see you all play. Scorpions, don't forget, you can always tweet us at Scorpion News. Text us at 760-713-6575 or message us at hysteriabroadcasting.com. Well, Scorpions, that's all for today. I'm your anchor, Jericho Velasco, and until next time, this has been Scorpion News.